very good day everyone. In today's video we are going to explore a lung fluke which is responsible for causing an infection called paragonimiasis which is kind of a mouthful to pronounce. Paragonimiasis is a foodborne parasitic infection caused by a lung fluke. This particular lung fluke we will explore also has the largest geographical range among lung flukes and it is called Paragonimus westermani. They are especially prominent in Asia as well as South America. Their life cycle is as such. The unembryonated eggs are secreted in the sputum or if they are swallowed they are then passed with the with stools and in the environment the eggs then become embryonated and miracidia then hatch and seek its first intermediate host which is the snail and penetrates the snail's soft tissue miracidia then go through several developmental stages in the snail first becoming sporosis then radiae with the latter giving rise to many saccariae and the saccariae then emerge from the snail and invade a second intermediate host which is a crustacean such as a crab or a crayfish where they insist to form meta saccariae Metasaccharia, it is important to note, is the infective stage for a mammalian host and human infections with Paragonimus westermani arises from the consumption of inadequately cooked crab or crayfish or any crustacean for that matter that harbour the Metasaccharia of the parasite. Metasaccharia then exists in the duodenum, then penetrates the intestinal wall to the peritoneal cavity, then through the abdomi abdominal wall and diaphragm to the lungs where they become encapsulated and then develop into adults. Worms can also reach other organs or tissues such as the brain or striated muscles. Infections may persist in humans for 20 years and animals such as pigs, dogs and a variety of feline species can also harbour Paragonimus westermani. You may pause this slide in case you would like to actually take down these points. this slide too as it is pretty elaborate so please feel free to pause the video and take these notes down. Now let us explore the morphology of this parasite. So if you look at the image on the top right you would notice the eggs are ovoid in shape and they have this yellow brown color with a rather thick shell sort of highlighted if you notice the dark halo around the egg. The operculum is not quite visible in the actual image however we have this drawing by its side and the operculum is basically a structure that covers the aperture. The saccharia not shown here which is the form that actually invades the crustacean has a spined exterior and a large posterior sucker and the metasaccharia also unfortunately not shown here is the form ingested by humans which has two suckers with a spined exterior. Adult flukes on the other hand has a reddish brown color ovoid in shape and possess an appearance that is quite similar to a coffee bean. If you notice at the anterior near the excretory bladder they 
have a pair of branching testicles and in the middle a lobed ovary. This means that these flukes are hermaphrodites which literally says that they have both a male and a female sex organ. Paragonymiasis is an acute infection. Symptoms that are usually present include cough, abdominal pain and discomfort as well as a low-grade fever uh, apparent b between 2 to 15 days following an infection. People with light infections however are without symptom and individuals with long-term infections may display clinical symptoms that are similar to bronchitis or tuberculosis with coughing up of blood tinged sputum. Diagnosis can be achieved through several means and you may try to identify Paragonimus westermani eggs in the sputum or they could also be found sometimes in stool specimens if the eggs that are coughed up are then swallowed. Alternatively, antibody tests against Paragonimus westermani antigen is also available in the market. Anyway, the treatment options include Prezequantil, which is the obvious drug of choice. Bithionol is also another option, but it is commonly associated with skin rashes and urticaria. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And in case you have any inquiries, please feel free to add a comment to this video and I shall respond to it promptly. Thank you and stay safe everyone.